Hey guys, if you can't sign into Valorant and it just keeps giving you the error message, sorry we're having trouble signing you in right now, then watch until the end as I'm going to share with you all the ways you can fix this issue. So the first and most effective solution is we're going to change our DNS settings, which we can do by coming over to the start menu by pressing the Windows key, and we want to search for Control Panel. And then we can just hit the control panel icon and you want to make sure view by is set to category and then we can just come into network and internet here and network and sharing center in the left hand column here we want to come to change adapter settings and you want to select the internet that you're currently using for me it's this wi-fi summer house one and you just want to right click and come over to properties from this list of items we want to select internet protocol version 4 ipv4 and then hit the properties tab now what we want to do is we want to change where it says obtain DNS server address automatically to use the following DNS server addresses. And in here you want to type in 1111 and 1001. And then we can just press OK to save our changes. Now if that didn't work, the next thing we can do is come back to our start menu and this time we're going to search for run. And what you want to do is you want to type in here percentage sign local app data percentage sign and hit enter. And then from here we want to scroll all the way down to find the Valorant folder and we want to right click and press the trash icon to delete it. We can then scroll up to find the Riot Games folder and come into here and we can right click Valorant and again we press the trash icon to delete it. Once again you can try signing in but if you still are experiencing problems the next thing we can do is run the app as an administrator. So to do that we simply come over to the Valorant icon and we right click and come into properties. And then we want to hit the compatibility tab and we want to ensure that disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator is selected. And then we can just press apply and OK to save our changes. Now something else that could be preventing you from signing in is your firewall settings. So to fix this we want to come to the start menu and you want to search for Windows Firewall. And then in this left hand column you want to select allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And then we need to hit change settings before we can make any changes. And the first thing you want to do is you want to scroll down this list. And if you already have the Riot client added to this, you want to remove it by clicking the Riot client and going to remove. And we can do the same here. And then we want to scroll down and try and find Valorant. And then again, we can select it and click remove. Once we've removed these apps from the firewall, we then need to add them again by clicking allow another app. So if we come in browse, then we go to the C drive. And in the C drive, you should find a folder called Riot Games. We can come into that and then into the Valorant folder underneath live. And we should be able to select the Valorant client here. And you just need to open it and add it to the list. And then we can come back into browse. And this time you want to hit shoot a game. And then we come into binaries, Win64, and then select Valorant Win64 shipping. And then we can select add. And then lastly, you just want to come over to your desktop and right click the Valorant app. And we want to select open file location. And then we can just come into the top here and copy all of this. And come back to this menu, then select allow another app. Come over to browse, and we can just paste this in here. And hit enter. And then you want to select Riot client services and select open. And then we can add this one to the list. And once you've done that, you want to make sure that both public and private are selected for the Riot client and also underneath the Valorant section. And then we can just hit OK to save our changes. Now, if you've tried everything so far and it's still not working, then don't worry as I have one more solution for you guys, which some users have reported working for them. So you want to come over to the start menu and search for CMD. And you want to right click on the command prompt here and run as administrator. Now, in this black window here, you want to type in the following commands and hit enter. So the first thing you want to type in is IP config space slash release and hit enter and then we can type in IP config space slash renew and hit enter and then you want to type in IP config space slash flush and hit enter and lastly you want to type in IP config space slash register DNS and hit enter. Now hopefully by following all of these steps that's fixed the signing in issue but if you still are experiencing problems then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.